Hey everybody, this is TJR. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. And last night, I watched the new Credence Clearwater Revival Netflix documentary. And I can't remember what it's titled right now. <laughs> okay, it's titled Traveling Band, Credence Clearwater Revival, live at the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, this film was, of course, uh, released in conjunction uh, with the album, Credence Clearwater Revival, live at the Royal Albert Hall. And this movie, this film, does include that concert, but it also includes a lead-up. This lead-up is a 35-minute extremely efficient mini documentary in and of itself that will pretty much tell for the uninitiated, like myself, what they need to know about this band's history. Honestly, I was very impressed with how tight and efficient this film's first 35 minutes were. And I have to give full disclosure. I am only, or I should say, I only own one album by this band. For that reason, I would not classify myself as a serious CCR fan. This is because, aside from this album, I mainly know them for their hits. So yeah, I would have to say that I fall into the category of casual fan for this band. And as a casual fan, I felt that this opening 35 minutes gave me a very compelling account of the band's history their accomplishments, and it also explained to me why this band is culturally important. Now, along the way, there are also some interview clips um, taken at various stops during this European tour that leads up to the Royal Albert Hall performance. None of the members of Creedence Clearwater Revival had ever been to Europe before, and when asked to give their first impressions of Europe, one of the band members expressed his surprise at how much less bias and prejudice that he felt he encountered while he was in Europe. And he wasn't just referring to prejudice against race or prejudice against religion, which certainly existed very strongly in the United States that they grew up in at the time, and to some degree still does, even now. He was also, though, referring to the prejudice and bias against anyone who just looks different. And he made references to having long hair as an example. So as far as the concert is concerned, uh, the film's remaining 60 minutes, I will say contains a very tight, no-nonsense performance, a performance without any light show or stage annex or very little, if no, in between song banter. A few pauses here and there to allow a band member time to switch guitars, check the setting on their amp, tighten up a cymbal, and again, full disclosure. Aside from watching the band in the movie Woodstock, this is the only performance I've ever watched of this band. And as a result, I have come to the conclusion that along with releasing some very catchy hit songs, they also clearly built a reputation for being a very tight little ball of musical fire performance when it came to their concerts. You'll notice I said concerts versus show. Because from this film, I learned there is no show at a Credence Clearwater revival performance. Not in the way that we understand it today. Just the band playing their songs with as much energy as they can muster and the dedication to deliver those songs as close to their studio recorded counterparts as they possibly can. No small feat. The only thing that I would criticize this film for is that it stops at the end of this concert. This film gave us such a good accounting of the band's prehistory leading up to the Royal Albert Hall concert, which the film states it was kind of this high point where they were at just this brief moment in time, the greatest band in the world. And they give their explanations as to why. 
I won't give away everything. So it only seemed natural to me that this film would then give us a brief but succinct accounting of the band's history after the concert. What led to their breakup? What happened after? We do get a few intertitles that tell us a little bit, but it leaves way too many questions. So the worst thing I'll say about this film is that I felt it wasn't enough. I felt we should have just gotten a little bit more at the end. Otherwise, though, clearly if you're a Credence fan, this is a no-brainer. You've probably already seen it. But if you are more like me, a casual fan, maybe you just know them for their hits, this is a must-see. You really do have to see this. You especially need to just see this beginning, too, where you will learn about the band's prehistory. Again, like I said, they were just mainly, you know, a hits band for me. And uh, I've always said in the back of my mind, wow, I should really listen to them more. I really should check out their albums. I have one, of course, but I kept saying you should listen to the other albums. At one point, I joined Amazon's LP Vinyl Record Club just to see how that would be. And at one point, they were going to send me the Greatest Hits 2 LP package. I turned it down because I said, no, Greatest Hits packages is what I did when I was a kid. I don't do that anymore. I buy albums. I listen to the albums. I go with that. I kind of regret that decision. I wish I had gotten it. Um, greatest Hits albums are a great gateway drug to then buying the albums. So I, I should have done that at any rate, though. But uh, yeah, um, I think this movie really uh, deepened my appreciation for Creedence Clearwater Revival, which is not to say I had no appreciation for them before. Like I said, I really love their hits. Uh, I can think of a handful of their songs that I used to do at my gigs, at my acoustic gigs, my band gigs, my acoustic trio gigs, a handful, a good handful of songs that I used to do. Anyways, though, those are my thoughts on this film. Let me know what your thoughts were. As always, if you like what I do here, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video. And now I want to say thank you to my patron supporters. Patron supporters receive exclusive weekly videos not available here on the channel and they will sometimes get early access to select videos before they premiere on the channel. Everybody, thank you so much for just making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Hope you all stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.